We're at Wildlife Command Center this morning and we are about to start our morning ringtail lemur feeding. We provide a forever home for ringtail lemurs and it's always a lot of fun. So I had somebody online that had a question about Tutti Fruities and lemurs. And uh, they were like, is that really a good food for lemurs? And I was like, we feed it to four year olds. So, you know, <laughs> is it a good food? I don't know, but they don't get it all the time, only whenever I feed them. If you want to win the heart of a lemur, feed it. And if you'll notice over time, um, all the lemurs have a personality. Like they all have a very unique and distinct personality. So lemurs hail from an island called Madagascar. And uh, they are a primate. They evolved a little bit differently than other primates. And I believe there's 49 different species of lemur. Because they have evolved to meet every niche in the ecosystem on Madagascar. So prepping the food for the lemurs. Apples, huge. Lemurs mouths, little. So we cut it into little bitty bite-sized pieces so that they can eat the apple more readily. They love apple. And they're just like me, they eat everything. The core, the seeds, the stem, the whole apple. So we got involved with lemurs about three years ago. We had a situation where the Missouri Department of Conservation called us in and there was some lemurs that needed to be removed from a household and they were just being neglected. Lemurs are very, very social animals and they need a ton of human attention. That's why everybody that works here has to learn to play with lemurs because the lemurs really really love to interact with humans. That's like Pico, she won't eat her food out of the bowl if I'm standing right here. She wants me to hand it to her. And the lemurs eat everything. That's vegetable and matter. Vegetable fruits. Um, we also have a lemur chow that we provide for them. It's like their all day food so they have something to snack on. One of the best times of the morning is when I get caught up feeding the lemurs and then I go for my energy drink. Because in the bottom of here, we have the best energy drink ever. Ray's Strawberry Lemonade, the bomb. Wow. You should drink some. Look at the link down in the description. Get you some. Go back. Leaping lemurs. Oops. What's up, bear? Yeah, be careful of your face. You're really a brand likes, new. You're a brand new person. Really likes the glasses. Yeah, she does. What color is her band? That's Loki. So with the lemurs, uh, they want to eat all the time. We feed in the morning. And in the morning, we give them a fruit-based and a cereal-based uh, diet. We also give them a specially designed leaf kibble 
that sustains them throughout the day. So they get that big sugar rush in the morning from all the fruit. And then throughout the day, as it gets hot, their appetite is suppressed. And so they tend to eat more of the kibble, the leaf uh, kibble, and that keeps them full all day. You don't want them to get fat, so we have them on a, a fructose fruit diet in the morning and then kibble and high fiber all throughout the day. Plus, they're constantly jumping, playing, and being leaping lemurs, and so they are, they are fit. The lemurs of Madagascar, all of them, they are primates. And so they are exactly built the way we are as far as anatomically. They just have a few more modifications, like the lemurs have an extra long tail so they can balance. Now, these guys can jump 20 feet, but what's interesting is that they can change the direction uh, of their jump in the middle of their jump with their tail. One thing that is a little unusual about the, the lemurs is that most animals are all forward facing when it comes to their hands. The lemurs will actually turn their hands upside down like this, grab their food and then eat it like this, very much the way we will. They also are very strong, like they have really, really strong dexterity. They can, they can grab on, they can jump with the whole weight of their body, grab onto something midair and, uh, and hang on, where a human jumping through the air, grabbing onto things, you've got to be quite fit to be able to do it. We'll do it. And, uh, and they do it with regularity. Now, you happen to have Loki on you, who is really giving you a fit, because uh, as her name implies, she's extremely mischievous. This, one is, this one's name is Selma. This is Selma, she's just a sweetheart. She, Lots of attention. Hey, go on, get. And you also have to watch Loki too when she gets around your face. Like, yeah. Like just now, she was definitely testing you for dominance. Oh, I because bet. Because you were trying to suit her off, and uh, I could see her body language. She was like, "I'm gonna bite you." With the lemurs and most of your non-human primates, uh, they're pretty territorial. And so the two that are back there are the very first two that we rescued and they are quite aggressive. And so they stay in, a, in the cage by themselves. They don't get along with other lemurs and they don't get along with humans. I'm literally the only person that can go in that cage. And then these two here, Bear and Joni, they're kind of the same way. They're both pretty wild and skittish. And then these lemurs here are all the, what we consider the nice lemurs. These are the lemurs that we take out to events and we do different types of activities with. We've got a permanent hat wearer now with Selma. She's just like laying on your hat. Yeah, I should have set up a GoPro in the cage before this and really given people <laughs> behind the scenes. Right, yeah, we could do that. I got a couple of GoPros. Just standing here with two lemurs on okay. me. Okay. So originally we had made this cage as just a walk-in safety cage so that we could easily get into the other doors without the lemurs jumping all over us. But, you know, it's like lemurs need space. That's the big things with lemurs. And so um, we ultimately gave in and just let them have this space as well as the other space. And you can see how cute they are. They're just the cutest little things. Did I just not notice the owl on the ground earlier, or is that a new feature? Uh, he was hooting at you when we first came in. You didn't hear him hooting? I have not seen an owl since I've been in too, here. Too much to overtake. Well, there's another owl in here also. <laughs> like, where, where's the owl? What else is in the office? <laughs> when we consider lemurs as pets, um, I think that for the average person, they're a bad option, really bad option. Uh, mostly for two reasons. One, they're social animals, and so they either need a troop or they need a human at all times. Two, they require a lot of space, like a lot of space for jumping, a lot of space for running and expelling a lot of that pent up energy, because if they can't exercise enough, jump enough, run around enough, then they exert that in aggression towards humans or anybody because then they all they want to do is fight all the time. They are adorable and they're cute and they're cuddly and you know 
if you have the space and you have the time, yeah, they're great companions. However, it requires constant attention and it requires a lot of space. So because of that, not a, not a good option for most humans. Hey, if you guys are brand new to the YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you've already subscribed, turn on the notifications. That way, every time we upload a new video, you're notified right away. And we are uploading new content weekly and maybe even twice a week. Turn on that bell icon, smash that subscribe button, and make sure you're notified. Can you come inside? I'll fix you some food that I'll be right in, okay? Right inside.